This is the beginning of my daily walk in Arisagawa Park in Tokyo, near the Hiroa Station. And um, taking you on my, my path, which is a good health walk for me. You see they have all these little nooks and crannies in this park. Lovely little um, wooden steps here, go up. If you want to take that route, there's all sorts of routes here. There's a little bridge, the kids filming ducks. I mean, feeding ducks. I'm filming kids feeding ducks. The parents looking concerned, probably want to go home. Um, there are signs here in English and Japanese. It says, attention, please stop the act to feed a fish and a bird because a crow will probably come down and hurt you because crows are ferocious here in Japan. Look at this lovely little thing. I remember when they were building this little thing in the middle of the pond. There was nothing there. And suddenly there was something submerged. Now it has emerged and that's great. Okay, see this little bridge? We're gonna go over this little bridge because why not? It's something to do. I see that more little steps you can go up if you want. Little steps. And here's an interesting sign. Look, watch your head. Please be careful about falling branches. If it looks more like an angry crow, you know, the crow could come down and take you away. Okay. And here's the little bridge we saw before. And there's a. Let me see this. Here's peaceful sound of water, little waterfall type of thing. There it is, that's where the sound's coming from. Okay. And, uh, you see down here is another path, beautiful path. And then we go up the steps, up the steps, up the steps get my exercise in Tokyo. You can see what I do. Now I'm back at the place where I used to come when I was a teenager. A certain time of the year the mosquitoes are ferocious in this little place. They come out of here with welts. But right now they seem to be okay. They're not attacking me. For which I'm very happy. Okay. So you could choose this path down here if you want. Go back down to the little pond with the ducks or you can go this way down another little path. You see? It's a lovely little path. It's going to go down to the pond. Down to the pond. I have to be careful where I step, you see? All these little steps are made of rocks and if it's wet you could go for a bad fall. I've done that before. Many a hungover morning here in Tokyo trying to get healthy. <laughs> anyway, here's a more very, very interesting gorgeous steps that lead to a, to a crossing. Crossing. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. No other way to navigate it without shaking a bit. Okay, now we're going over this little rock bridge, stone bridge. And then we're going over this little stones. Up here you got a beautiful bridge. And there's usually a waterfall here, but it's Sunday today, so I guess it's the waterfall's day off. You know, one day of rest. Of the waterfall and um, now I'm going back full circle to where we started you see these lovely rocks I'm stepping on that's how I'm getting to avoid the mud that's in between them and uh, I love this park too much just crazy I wanted it on film 
so I could remember it. See? Those steps go up there. There's more steps over here. And they go up to another place. These steps go up here, so they're wood. They go up this way, up that way. And then we're back to the, the lake. You're seeing the lake. Just about finished with my tour for you of Arisaga Park. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my sharing my exercise walk course. Actually, I usually take about a half an hour or more than, you know, when I'm filming here. But um, I'm trying to avoid people who are passing by too, you know, observing their, their privacy. And uh, there's these school kids running by. <coughs> Okay, there you go. It's that little bridge over there where they were feeding the ducks before. You see it? Okay. There's the ducks sort of calm now. Very calm. See, that, so there was a sign here where we don't feed the ducks, and they were doing just that. Not strict enforcement of a, a breadcrumbs to duck, I guess. There are geese here too. I don't see them right now. A, I think there's a goose over there. Yeah. Okay. What else? All right, so now, this park, just for your information, is right opposite the National Azabu Supermarket. You see? National Azabu Supermarket. This is where I get my champagne. I get my moe and Pico here. And there's a Baskin Robbins. Right opposite this gorgeous park where you feel like you're in Kyoto. You turn around, you got Baskin Robbins and the National of the Supermarket. And uh, now we're on our way out of the park. This is giving you an idea of the birds who actually live here in this place. Of course, if you don't read Japanese, you're clueless. But uh, some of you ornithologically uh, illuminated people out there will know what they are, they are, the are, the things. There's all these signs when you come into the park, we're leaving the park. Arisugawa Park, see? That's how you spell it. Arisugawa Park in Tokyo. And then you go this way, there's a subway station. There's actually a Kentucky Fried Chicken if you walk this way. So, that's your clarification. This is where I went when I first got to Japan in 1968. Looked different then, it's been none of that. Alright, look at this gorgeous, beautiful donkey coming across the street. Bye.